Hello everyone, I'm the CCG Collector, and as you can see right in front of me, I've got a pretty special treat for you all today. Uh, yesterday was the Star Wars Destiny Spirit of Rebellion pre-release, and uh, that's where all this came from. Now, the game store that I went to had a single booster box of booster packs, and they allowed up to 12 people to participate. Every person who participated got uh, three booster packs. I have not opened mine yet, so we'll do that. Uh, in this video, but there was also this little mission brief card, little challenges that you could complete and you would uh, get these oversized art cards. Uh, as you can see, they pre-checked all of the buy three booster packs option uh, because they gave everyone the three booster packs. So because of that, you automatically got this full art overkill card. Now, I'll, I'll get back to that in just a second. Uh, the other things were... Uh, deal four ranged damage at once or bring an extra deck. I brought an extra deck, so I got this full art death trooper. And then finally, play two games as hero or play two games as villain. I played two games as hero and I got this full art command shuttle. I believe the names are all right. Of course, this is in Orabesh, so who can say? Now, I, oh, I haven't actually looked at the back of this yet. <laughs> so uh, I... Wish, kind of wish they hadn't pre-checked this. I know it's, you know, no one's, these are not going to be worth 500 bucks someday. But uh, when you think of a lot of products like these, uh, right now I'm thinking of the oversized Star Wars CCG cards, the uh, the Mara Jade, the things like that. where they're, they're a promo item, but the intent is for them to be used. Like the oversized Mara Jade card. You take it to a, a convention and she signs it and there it is. So it's actually rarer to get the ones without the signature of the uh, the model for that character. So here I, I would have liked to have these all blank and unchecked so I'd have a, an unblemished card. But you know what? It's, it's, it's a card. That's fine. Now of these uh, three full art, art cards, of course, they did not come with the dice. Well, they never do. There was, uh, you know, Ray Full Art that didn't come with the dice. Ray Alternate Art didn't come with the dice. Kylo didn't come with the dice. So, um, yeah, they never come with the dice. So that's kind of a bummer, but it's it's expected. Uh, the other thing to point out here is that for a lot of them, particularly the the Ray, the Kylo, uh, the Full Art is you take the image that was on here and then you just remove the text and uh, expand it out. And I'm I'm actually seeing right here that. Uh, these, yeah, these don't have any game text, but that makes sense because they don't have any special. Uh, but with this Overkill card, uh, they actually zoom in on it. So if you look at the original Overkill, which you probably won't for a while because these aren't truly released yet, you have this entire guy up in the little box and he had more terrain around him. So here they actually zoomed in on the image and blew it up. So that's, that's kind of interesting with that. Um, but yeah, three full art cards. Uh, very cool. But... <laughs> They also gave us booster packs. Now, I, I'm pretty sure I was the only one at the pre-release event that did not open his on the spot. Everyone else did. Um, so they all came from one booster box, so there were six legendaries. I know for sure that someone pulled a Palpatine. Lucky them. Uh, my buddy pulled a Chewbacca. Uh, someone else got a handcrafted light bow, which is that crossbow from Rogue One. And I know there was another legendary too, but uh, who knows? I might have one in these three... Uh, three packs so we're gonna find out and start with this first one maybe there we go I believe we turn it like this and we start with oh maneuver uh, it's a neutral yellow common card for one resource support after you claim the battlefield gain one resource Crate Dragon Howl, uh, hero blue common for zero. Spot a blue character to remove an opponent's die. That opponent chooses to either remove that die. I'm sorry, spot a blue character to choose an opponent's die. That op opponent chooses to either remove that die or discard the top two cards of their deck. Well, that's nice. Uh, zero, I believe this was one of the spoiled cards. Uh, zero neutral yellow event. Friends in low places, spot a yellow character to look at an opponent's hand and discard an event from it that costs one or less. So it's kind of like um, a neutral version of, of Probe, a neutral yellow. The uncommon is Imperial Inspection, another one of the spoiled cards. So I'm afraid I'm not really offering you guys anything new, but hey, booster opening, right? 
Uh, zero support. After one of your dice rolls a disrupt, you may exhaust the support to return an upgrade in play that costs two or less to its owner's hand. So you don't even have to remove that die showing the disrupt. Um, you just remove, return the thing. And the rare is A180 Blaster. Now this is something new that they did with this set, the Spirit of Rebellion set. They gave multiple options, multiple resolution possibilities for the special. So this one costs uh, three resources. It is a hero weapon upgrade. Uh, two ranged, plus two ranged, one disrupt, and two specials. Um, and with the special, you can resolve it for either dealing one damage to a character and give attached character one shield, or deal one damage to each of an opponent's characters, or deal two unblockable damage to a character. So that's, that's pretty cool. And here's the die. <laughs> and uh, expectedly so, they... they show off the blaster itself, cut off her face, but, you know, she's, it's not a uh, Jin Urso card, it is an A180 blaster card, so, like I said, as expected. Very cool. Pack number two. Alright, now let's, let's Get some cards that haven't been spoiled. Something new for all of us. Now that I mean that was okay. A uh, crate dragon howl I hadn't seen before. Uh, a parry. Remove a die showing melee damage. So this is like a cheaper version of block, of course. Um, and instead of removing all dice, you just remove one. But it's a common. Hold on. A new one. Zero event. Yellow hero. Yellow event with ambush. Move any number of shields from one of your characters to another character. I expect that would be pretty good in the Han deck because, you know, he's got all the shields from all your ambush cards. You play this, uh, you move all the shields from him to someone else, and he gets another shield because you played a card with ambush. Very cool. Decisive blow. Uh, neutral blue, three resources event. Resolve one of your dice showing melee damage, then remove all character and upgrade dice of the character you just dealt damage to. Wow. Uncommon. We have them now. Play only if you control the battlefield. A red villain event for two. Turn up to four of your dice to side showing damage. Not bad. It's a lot better than a card like Aim, which, I mean, is a great card. It's a neutral card. But um, you can only turn them to one of the dice. You know, this turns four of them. And the rare. Ascension Gun. So we've got a weapon-heavy set of packs so far. Uh, two resources. Neutral yellow upgrade equipment. One ranged. Two ranged. One focus. Two disrupt for a resource. And the special of use the ability on a battlefield that is not being used but was brought to the game as if you had just claimed it. Now I expect that's different wording than they used to have for like a hyperspace jump. When they said the battlefield that is not in play or the battlefield that wasn't selected or whatever terminology they used. So I'm guessing that's what they're saying. That it is the battlefield that is not being used but is still there. So that, I mean that's kind of cool. It's a little backup plan in case you don't get your battlefield. You can still use its ability. There we go. Looking sharp. But we have one pack left to go. So let's take a look at what this one's all about. Maybe I saved the best for last. Who knows? But, you know, it's all new cards, and it's all Star Wars Spirit of Rebellion booster packs that I would not have gotten any other way. I mean, I, I ordered a booster box, but who knows when that's going to come in. So here we have these now. Secluded Beach and the Scarif. Claim, remove an opponent's die, showing ranged damage. Hey, that's, that's, I kind of like that. Because it means you might claim sooner than you otherwise would. I mean, if you, you're you thinking, okay, I could claim, but they're going to beat me up afterward. Well, now they won't. Oh, many troopers. <laughs> Undying Loyalty, uh, red villain event for zero. Heal one. I've noticed these seem to be a lot of cheap events in here. Heal one damage from a red character. If there is another copy of this event in your discard pile, you may spend one resource to place this event on top of your deck instead of discarding it. Okay, cool. Um, so that, that's also a new kind of gameplay mechanic that made its appearance, that is making its appearance in Spirit of Rebellion, that if you have a card already in your discard pile and you play a copy of it, it does more than the first one did. Uh, there's a yellow event with Gungans on it that does that, and uh, 
other things like that. Ammo belt, uh, neutral gray upgrade for one. And actually, this is a common upgrade. You don't see a lot of those. Before another upgrade, an attached character would be discarded by a card effect. You may discard this instead. So just uh, kind of a shield gets in the way of people trying to mess up your cool lightsabers or whatever. Ooh, uncommon. Imperial War Machine. Villain red, uncommon event for zero. Resolve one of your red dice, showing resource cost for free. Oh, showing your resource cost, not showing your resource. So you have, uh, you know, three damage for one resource, and now you do it. I don't know. I mean, that's okay. Oh, inter <laughs> interrogation droid. Look at all that discard on there. So it's a villain. Um, it's a great support. After you activate this support, look at a random card in an opponent's hand. If that card is an event, you may remove this die to discard it. So you can get... You have a 1 in 2 chance of getting a random discard, but uh, either way, you get to see their hand. So as soon as you roll this, as soon as you activate this, you get to see their hand. Because you don't have to use this ability down here. That's pretty cool. And that die is right here. ITO, it would be called in uh, Star Wars CCG, but this might be IT1 or IT... No, it'd be... I don't know. ITP or ITQ or ITR... So, very cool. Anyway, I am the CCG Collector. These are the fruits of the uh, Star Wars Destiny Spirit of Rebellion pre-release event held on April 1st at many local game stores around the country. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, stick around for more videos, of course. I can't promise any more Spirit of Rebellion anytime soon, but when I get the boosters in, you will be the first to know. All right, thanks for watching. See you all next time.